Millennia First Look, Episode 2. Carry straight on. So, Rostock, I guess this is the Swedish people that it knows you notified me about. Let's just carry on wandering down. Oh, yeah. oh. Nothing here to annoy me, apart from the Indians, of course. <clears throat> Something else up there. Fine. Can use my culture power. Two. What does raise an army mean? Spawn a war man, war band, and an archer. Hmm. Boost regional efficiency <clears throat> for five turns. Gain some knowledge. Chose that last time. I could create a town. I'm being tempted to take, create a town down this way to stop the Indians advancing too far. If it, was, if it were over here, I could have some fish. I mean, how big will the town grow? I stick it in the middle. I have wheat and sheep and a river and stuff here. Can I create a town? Okay. Oh. Invalid. Right click to cancel. So, culture. I have to select some place, I suppose. What about here? Now culture. Go to town. Use an open territory inside or adjacent to a region that you own that has an has an open town slot. So I guess I don't have an open town slot anywhere, right? Towns increase the region's level. You can increase town's level with expand town engineering domain power. In or adjacent to your territory. Well, what about here then? Is that adjacent enough? Oh, go, for, go for bronze. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Click the wrong button. I don't care too much. I've now, I can now select my first national spirit. The domains area on the left is a round marker that indicates you have an open national spirit slot. Okie dokie. Set of thematic ideals can be unlocked using XP for one of my domains. Okay, I can select it. Um, Provides a small selecting a national spirit provides a small bonus of domain XP and also causes you to generate additional points in that domain each turn. As national spirits are selected by other nations, the bonus for those that have not been chosen grows. Okay, okay. Age of bronze unlocked. City guards, some buildings, some dwellings, some trade posts, and all sorts of powers. Ooh. bonuses for units, borders and resources. Can hunt stuff, warfare, engineering, mound builders or Olympians. Nation of athletic units. 
for diplomacy and competition. Mound builders. So somebody's chosen that, I guess, because there's no that's not possible to do. Using unique improvements to support high population regions. Hmm. More food, I guess. Ancient seafarers. Hmm. Has not been picked. That's, I'm kind of tempted to go for ancient seafarers, actually. Because I want to explore the sea. But Mound Builders has a clear benefit. Uses unique improvement to support high population regions. Or... Pioneers in building, sailing and hunting on boats. Eeny, meeny, money mo. Catch a raider by his toe. I'm not interested. Okay. Can't say that rhyme these days, can you? For good reason. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to go for ancient seafarers and explore the seas, right? So. Can I pick anything? I can select, okay. Span faster into water tiles. Early ships are stronger. Spawn a utility ship. Domain power costs less to exploration. Minus 30% utility boat cost. Are they going to be seafaring barbarians? Possibly. Go for utility boats, fishing boats, and the like. Okay. Oh, it lights up. So I have the mouse pointer is off, isn't it? Yeah, the mouse pointer is off by quite a lot, by a centimeter or so. Right. It's working for other things, not for that button. So choose some tech. For the Bronze Age. Hmm. And these are the next ones. Other nations' units killed in battle have a greater or equal to six. Oh, it is greater or equal to six, okay. Discovered landmarks greater than three. Age of Iron requires three technologies. Mm hmm. I'd better go for shipbuilding, hadn't I? I mean, given my seafaring thingy. Right. It's an exploration possibility. I could spawn a scout. Not at the moment, I think. Well, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to have one to go up this way. I have met. We'll address us with respect if you know what's good for you. Cheer up. Now oh, there they are. El Spaniosos, or whatever they're called. That's respectfully said. Who have we here? Locating Spain. Yep. A resolve.
crisis ages. From the age of bronze, it is possible to move into a crisis age. The age if the age of blood is unlocked, if you kill six or more units of another nation, and if it's unlocked, I have to go into it. Right. If it does, maybe because of another player, I suppose, doing the same. Specific rules are applied. All nations are at war with one another, and a different set of units, techs, and buildings are available. Cool. variant ages. Along with the first crisis age, the age of bronze also presents your first variant age, the age of heroes. The age of heroes provides a different set of content and gameplay inspired by ancient heroes, quests and technologies. Age of heroes is unlocked and available for research if your scouts discover three or more landmarks. The standard path through history moves into the age of iron, but variants like the age of heroes allow you to take history in a different direction. So oh, maybe I can find some landmarks. You never know. Oh, is this another nation? Oh, it's a Spanish city, okay. I have 51 points here. What can I do? I can spawn a settler. Let's do it. I'm going to settle. Say here. Where's my satellite? Actually, both of you move to here. Maybe. Hey, look, a road has been built. Didn't I spawn a scout? I guess I didn't. Must be town. Yeah, here. Yeah. Spawn a scout. Okay. I spawned it. Right. Okay. Start going up here then. Finish my tea. Do nothing. Spanish guy again. Mine's twenty. This is forty four. Try running away. Plus 
Clutch Coal. Indian Scout. Or past them, I think. Maybe not. Lots of barbarian camps in this world. I'll leave them for the Spanish to tidy up. Since they're so polite. City guard. Better. Goods chains. Goods that you gather with one improvement can be used by others to produce more valuable commodities. Wheat gathered by a farm provides food. If you build a mill, that wheat can be converted into flour worth even more food. Some goods chains offer flexibility. Logs gathered by a forest provide more production if they are turned into planks at a sawmill. The same logs could also be sent to a papermaker to produce paper for wealth. Or well, that paper could be sent to a printing press to make books, and so on. So to see the improvements of goods in a region, click the name above one of your region capitals, then select the Workers tab. Okie dokie. I don't think I've built any workers. I have a combat here. Oh, I could load into a water transport if I had such a thing. I have shipbuilding. Again, it allows me some ships and stuff and water transport. Mining seems quite crucial. Belief. Temple vats, press and weaver. Community gives me crane, sawpit, kiln, and mill. 
Discipline gives me Spear Chariot Reinforcements and Forced March. Officials gives me Market Bribe. <laughs> Claim Territory. Envoy. Quarry Stone got a Pioneer Mine. Oh dear. Well, I suppose discipline is crucial, because we might have an Age of Blood coming up. After all. Let's just... Stay here because it looks like we're we're stronger than them. Not Everest, found by the Spanish, but what's this? Chicago. Oh. If we felt you could stop us, we wouldn't do this. Combat allowed in neutral territory. It's a sad day, but our troops will take action to keep your armies away from our territory. Combat allowed in neutral territory. Who is Sweden? I thought that was Roscoff, the little city. That's the Spanish, there's the Indians. Sweden must be an ally of India, I suppose. I think we're going up into the frozen... Oh, undiscovered. Let's get one. Hooray! Um, frozen wastes. Bound. Strength went down when I buffed him. I probably need to add soldiers or something to him. This looks like it's the end of the continent there. found it. Oh, the Swedes found that one. I see. Forty-six. Oh, it's the Spanish. Not to worry. Spawn a utility ship. Let's do it. I don't know what it does. We can do it. Only 25, I have, was it 7 or something? 4. I could spawn a settler. Maybe not this turn. I have a 12th army here. 
This is a guard, isn't it? So let's just fortify them right in the town. Thank you. Oh, there's a cooldown period, I guess. So in five turns I'll be able to spawn a satellite. Window boner. Use my culture power, yeah. Press an outpost into a level two town. Can I do that? Where am I? Where am I? What's an outpost? This is an outpost or is that an outpost? Encampment. A war, some warfare experience. I can build scout, cavalry, warband, archer, dugout, canoe, city guard, spear, chariot, galley. Sounds good. Or a work camp. Primitive quarters and sport for manual labourers. A warband. Where have we got? Uh, Build an encampment. I'm a bit puzzled as to how my culture power is not getting used. Absorb outpost. Must be an outpost. What is an outpost then? Whoops. What's that? It's a town. That's not it. Well, I guess I can't use that power. Can I create a town? I like creating towns. Let's create it. It has to be in one of these, okay. That's not considered to be adjacent. Hmm. These are not considered to be adjacent, so why can't I do it here? Or I could do it here. In front of the enemy? Hmm. I'll do it here. There we go, Malinalco. Not too close to the rainforest, maybe. And how do I spawn a a boat exactly? Or is that just something I, can, I thought I was going to spawn a boat so, at some point, somewhere, build some utility built boats or something? Oh, use on a friendly dock improvement. I have to build a dock. Okay, okay. Somehow. That's a that's an improvement, right? So figure that out. Oh. 
I was just been exterminated there. I didn't quite see what went on. Forty-four. I'll wander down here, I think. So, how do I do an improvement? I right click on it, can I get a dock? No. Ooh. Maybe I have to research it. Combat allowed in neutral territory. Aye! Hmm. Get some resources going. I might get to the Iron Age before I've discovered three landmarks, I think. You're okay to fight. Let's fight. Oh, watchers. They're gonna win. Upgrade to spear, let's do it. This needs to be done on a dock. Hmm. Seems to be... I could do another, another scout up this way to go over here, couldn't I? Scout is spawned. I have to get past these barbarian idiots at some point, some though, but still. Ooh, my borders expanded, I saw. Swedish archer. I haven't discovered Sweden yet, I don't think. I guess they're up here in the frozen waste somewhere. Let's go up this way, so... Oops, that's alright. Something happened there, I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> so 
something's happening here. Oh, I can improve something. Let's go up to my city. Can I build a dock? Because that would be kind of sensible. I'll do fishing boats. Does it have to be within my territory? Invalid, uh-huh. There's no fish there, does it matter? I get it'll matter. What else have I got? Forester. Pasture, plantation. Hunting camp. Let's build a forester here. Okay. Slow to develop, isn't it, these cities? Oops, what's happened? Barbarians right by India there. Fight it out. Should be an easy win. Semi easy win, okay. At least without the spearman, I'll be able to move at a decent speed. All right. Sapporo. I could spawn a settler. Why not? I have to choose my city first, right? Yeah, Um, just heal up right. for a moment. We're in between the barbarians and the settlers as well. Let's 
like the way to go, doesn't it? Down here somewhere. Oh. 20 and 20. Mm. Let's go into the hills. Okay. Oh, it's what have I got here? Pioneer. Non-combatant. A skilled builder and architect who can stake claim to a land by constructing an outpost. Ooh. And what about having an outpost here then? It's like, or maybe over here. Would annoy the Indians big time, wouldn't it? Can't seem to settle there. Can I go here? Should win with the defense. I just maybe even, even though it's archers. Can I attack? Yeah. So we're heading for the Iron Age, if I choose it. Go on. We'll have to wait for another game for one of these. 14 turns.
So close, but it's really risky now, isn't it? Um, go there. And stay on guard for the moment. Can I build something? Oh, view capital. I'm building an encampment at the moment. Okay. Can I build something here? No. India went into the Iron Age. Oh well. Mine improvements are 20% off during the Age of Iron. <clears throat> I think that means they're cheaper. Growth rate of population increases. <clears throat> New governments are unlocked. Oh, that's right. That's the town guard, I guess. Good stuff. <clears throat> Thought I was doomed then. <clears throat> um, buff yourself, okay, and then stand guard. <clears throat> I need a city guard, don't I? Probably some palace aids too. The other guys are getting a bit annoying. Right. Are you able to attack that? We get some damage. See over here, right? We're gonna get through in the end. Go and attack it again if you can. You can't. Okay. Right. And turn. Do my heart attack again because I did. I started the attack. Okay. If I had a dock, I could do that. Warfare, I can restore some of an army's health and morale at the cost of combat experience. Okay. Enter. We are a peaceful nation, but you try our patience. What's the matter? I don't even know where you are, Mr. Sweden. Or is that that Sweden, perhaps? Green guy up there. Yeah, okay. That's good. Stand guard there. Finish them off. 
Oh, they built another palisade. A weak one. Got them, I think. The learned ones. Though simple, these barbarians' defences were surprisingly well positioned and effective. Although they lost the battle, it is obvious that there is an engineer with some potential among them. Other barbarians can't be allowed to learn from this example. Find the engineer, learn their secrets, and train them further. Use my culture power. Absorb outpost. I don't think I managed to build one, did I? My guy is still running around. Oh. See, they've gone and built something there anyway. So, oh no, no, I was going to build them up here. That's not my guy, is it? No. Where is he? Cutting edge? What's this? Increase innovation gain per turn. Can't do that. I've no idea where my guy has gone. So, heal up. We've entered as well, good stuff. I gain the ability to adopt a new government. Static government changes the needs and base earnings of your regions. I haven't been looking at the stats. <coughs> Provides a new set of government ideals and increases your capacity for all domain points. If you complete the final ideal for your current government, the reformed ideal, you can use the peaceful revolution culture power to make the change. Alternatively, you can select the government domain on the left and use the violent revolution domain ability to change governments at the cost of chaos. The government's ideals require that specific government require that specific government in order to work. These ideals are lost when you adopt a new king, a new government. For example, if you adopt the kingdom government, any tribal ideals you had unlocked are lost. However, newer governments are always better than older ones, so changing governments quickly is almost always the right move. And it unlocks all sorts of stuff. Meanwhile... I presume I still can't put fishing boats here. Damn. Okay. This is the town guard, right? What's Texcoco building exactly? City Guard. Oh, and I just built it. These are all hostile to me now, aren't they? Never mind, I'm going to explore these areas anyway. Smelting would seem relevant to iron. Horses seems relevant. Construction gives me some weapons and stone walls. Scribes. Infrastructure. Theatre. It's, it's all a bit difficult, isn't it? I 
think. I should get some stone walls. I haven't been building walls and stuff, have I? Like just for luck, build some palisade walls and then see what see if I can upgrade them later. Somebody attacking me. Upgraded them. That's it. That's my 60 turn limit. I've only scratched the surface of my epic journey. Certainly interesting. Um, so I guess we'll see how it goes. I might upload these straight away rather than waiting till the end of my Civilization VI as Basil. Um, because it's topical. Right, that always helps. I don't know exactly when it's going to come out. I guess in a few months. But it's it's a good game. I like it, actually. Um, so far, it, I'd say it's been as good as Civilization. So we'll see what happens. Bye for now.